So you want to draw goblins. Goblins come in all shapes and sizes, but mostly ovals. And noodles. There might be some triangles, square, rhombus, bomby, bendy, bendy toast things in there, but l let's just jump into it. Goblins are small, mischievous creatures, kind of like cats. So if you're already pretty confident in drawing cats, you're most of the way there for drawing goblins. Now, if you're not good at drawing cats, let's break it down into the basic shapes. When it comes to drawing goblins, I almost always start with the head and the body shape of the goblin to define where it's standing and its overall shape. Goblins should be highly emotive. Through use of their ears and their body shape, goblins in my mind are kind of an open book. Uh, they don't have to be overly energetic or have explosive personalities. They should always be wearing their hearts on their sleeves. Well, not literally, but... Well, let's get started. Step one. Draw a p Well, not like a real p just a p-shaped object. Well, I can't say p Seriously, most things in the world start with this shape. I'm gonna go with it. Define your body shape and plop a giant bobblehead on top. Aside from being mostly food-shaped cat monsters, they really do come in all sizes. Short, tall, thin, extra thick. Let's move on to the knees and elbows. I like to vaguely draw these shapes in beforehand. Basic squares or triangles are really good for getting the general shape and placement of the hands. This can lead to some strange proportions, but because I always feel like the posture is more important to goblins than actual proportions, you can always kind of do this first. I tend to go floppy bat ears. Floppier the better. Moving on to the face, I'm a big believer that goblins are mostly teeth. Well, giant bat ears and teeth. Giant bat ear cats with teeth. You know, the more I think about this, the weirder goblins get. I'm okay with that. It tends to be the more vicious you want a goblin to be, the more teeth you add. More teeth. More. Too many teeth. Back it off. All right. After all that, the devil's in the detail. Breaking it up into basic shapes really lets you plan out the face before things start getting messy. So really use those basic shapes to plan out where you want the things to be. Eyes, nose, mouth. When it comes down to drawing goblins, it's going to be just like drawing any other face, and many face tutorials can help you do that. But remember, with goblins, the faces are going to be slightly stretched, as well as almost more Muppet-like. So it's okay if they start being very basic and very silly looking, because you can just keep adding and stretching and distorting until it looks the way you want. Bigger the ears, the better. The bigger the head, also good. They come in all shapes and sizes, so don't feel like you have to get stuck drawing in one traditional stance or following tropes or different types of stereotypes. Goblins can be anywhere from feral, monster, swamp creatures all the way up to very high-end wizards. Don't be afraid to have fun with it and make something really unique and exciting. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to keep your dice on the table and have fun drawing those weird cat goblin d things. Can I say that? No? Eh, whatever.